What's up, everyone? Meal number three, getting ready to go to the goddamn gym. Fettuccine Alfredo with fucking chicken breast. Yum. Yeah. Hey, man, this shit is good. I haven't had this meal in, it's probably been at least a month, so this shit's gonna be good. Hell yeah, it's good. <laughs> Do they make these for you, baby, in the keto diet? No. They don't, huh? Nope. No, they could use. You can use cauliflower to make pasta. Really? Yeah, it's possible. That's good. Um, even the sauce, even if they just made like chicken and broccoli and put yeah. the Alfredo sauce on it, yeah. that would be good ass shit. Yeah. You know, the Alfredo sauce is awesome. So it'd be something different. So yeah. maybe that's something we can uh, look into having done, right? Because you like Alfredo. Yeah, I love it. Oh. Yeah, that sounds great. Good shit. Yeah, I'm debating whether when I start going for the new program, my new series of getting to fucking 240, losing 75 motherfucking pounds, <laughs> I'm debating whether I want to do the keto diet or I want to stick to the bodybuilding lifestyle diet. Um, you know, the keto diet works incredible for me. Like, I just get fucking lean as fuck, like quickly, like overnight. And what's crazy is I don't retain any water. You know, when I'm not taking in carbs, or I guess when anyone's not taking in carbs, you don't retain any water. So you, you're naturally just leaner all the time. Um, the only problem with that is that when you're not taking in carbs, you don't, you're not having, you don't have water in the muscles. So the muscles are a lot flatter. You know, and what that means is you're not going to get as good of pumps in the gym, and your muscles are going to be flatter, and you're not going to be as vascular. You know, so that's the downfall. But so you people out there that, that need to just lose weight, and that's your primary concern, the keto diet is the best fucking diet out there, 100%. Um, the problem is, is that if you, if you do the keto diet, or Atkins diet, or South Beach diet, you know, any version of a zero-carb diet, you have to stick to the fucking diet. See, that's the thing, is that... If you have a problem sticking to a diet, then that one is probably not the one for you because what happens is your body goes into ketosis and you know you start losing weight really fast. But if you eat carbs, what happens is it it you'll just gain a bunch of water weight and it'll raise your insulin levels and it, it just affects you a little more than other diets when you cheat on the diet. So I mean, realistically, there is no reason to cheat on an Atkins diet because, you know, you can make there you can make cheesecake, you know, without um, carbs. There, there's so many things. There's chocolate out there you can get without carbs. You know, there's so many things. You, there's no reason to cheat, honestly. It's all psychological. Um, but, again, if, if, if you just need to lose weight and that's, that's what you need to do, your first step, Atkins or... You know, keto, South Beach, whatever you want to call it, zero carb diet is the best. That shit, you will just fucking, you will lose so much weight so fast. Um, it's one of my favorite diets. It's one of my favorite ways to eat. And I actually feel the best on that diet because my insulin levels are stable. What happens is, you know, as you guys know, when you eat carbs or sugars, you know, it, 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 it raises your blood sugar and then your blood sugar drops and raises and drops throughout the day. So that's why... You know, sometimes you have a lot of energy and then sometimes you're tired and sometimes you crash and then sometimes, you know, because and you're very unstable because of your insulin levels because that's what the carbs and sugar do. Now, on a, on a zero carb diet, you're not affecting your insulin levels. So your blood sugar is not going up and down. You're staying, your energy levels are the same all the time. So for me, I noticed that I'm always energetic and I'm always, you know, I wake up and I bounce out of bed and I'm ready for the day. And when I'm eating carbs, you know, it's like I, I can barely get out of bed. And, you know, I just notice a big difference. Now, um, another negative of zero-carb diet is I find it's very hard to put muscle on. You know, so if, if you're just dieting to lose weight, to lose fat, it's great. But it's, it's, it's carbs are mandatory when it comes to putting muscle on. And if, if, if it's all about muscle, carbs is, is, I almost believe carbs are more important than protein. You know, a shitload of carbs, you're going to put on a shitload of muscle. And, um, you know, I, I found that out from my own experiences, not from reading shit on the Internet, not from reading, you know, what I read. It's about what I've experienced. And, you know, I, 
I, a lot of times, I'll go five or six days with zero protein. When I was in Germany, I ate zero protein. It was funny because all my athletes would eat breakfast with me. They'd be like, finally, they're like, Rich, what the fuck is up with your diet? Like, all you're eating is carbs every morning. And it's like, yeah, because I want to fill out and be full, and I want my body to look good for the expo. And protein doesn't have any effect on making my body look good. Protein repairs the tissue, repairs the muscles, you know, rebuilds. So, um, you know, in Germany, I didn't eat any protein unless it was something like I, I think I had a pizza one. I know, actually, they fucking fucked me on the pizza. I didn't eat pepperoni. So, actually, there was a little bit of cheese, you know, so I had some protein in the cheese. But I basically had no protein for six days. And, you know, a lot of people would think, oh, you're going to lose muscle. Oh, uh, it doesn't work like that. You know, basically, my body just gets better and better as I fill up on carbs and eat carbs. And I've came to realize from my own personal experiences, unlike everyone else, when everyone else, when they argue or they, they say something, it's from what they read. It's knowledge they read somewhere and they're just regurgitating the knowledge they read. It's not from their experiences. Um, people out there that, that say protein is mandatory, I don't think they've ever actually tried to go for two or three weeks without protein to see how mandatory it is. They're just going on what they read. And, you know, the question is, is how many people have actually tried it to see? Zero. <laughs> they, just, they just repeat what they read, repeat what they read. So um, I've actually tried this shit. And, and when, I, when I tell you guys something, it's from, it's from my own experiences, from me investigating on my own to find out the truth, not just going on what I read. So when I tell you carbs, when it comes to putting on muscle, are definitely you know, more important than protein. Now, they're both important. You don't need to, there's no reason to cut out protein. But I'm just saying that carbs, I believe, are a lot more important than people realize when it comes to putting on muscle. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I'm not sure what diet I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the carbs somewhat low and do the bodybuilder lifestyle diet or if I'm actually going to go back to the fucking keto. And if I go to the keto, man, you guys will see me just fucking... You know, I just lean up before your eyes. You know, it's crazy. My waist will go from, you know, I'll lose four or five inches in my waist in probably four weeks. So, um, so I will keep you updated on what I decide. As of now, I'm still eating nine meals a day. I'm still eating the same, same bodybuilder lifestyle diet. Um, our food should be coming out any time now. Uh, you know, in the beginning, we're only going to allow um, so many people to buy our meals. The reason being is it's a new business, and I have a feeling that we're going to get flooded with orders. And the last thing I want is, you know, to have problems happen or run out, not be able to, you know, um, fulfill the demand. You know, that's been a big problem we've had is that it's a good problem, but as you guys know, uh, we've been out of stock in a lot of our shit because, you know, it's just the companies that are making our products can't keep up with the demand, you know, and it's it, it really sucks because, you know, we're not being able to keep the customers happy um, and it's not our fault. Like, we just can't keep up with the demand. I mean, that's a that's kind of a dream come true for a company is to think that you have people are ordering so much that you can't keep up with it, you know. I mean, usually... You know, it's the other way around. You know, you can't sell enough product. Um, so it's a good thing, but on the food, we want to make sure that everything's running smoothly. So in the beginning, you know, we're probably only we're only going to have so many customers um, ordering the food and make sure things are running smoothly and make sure everything's going good. And once we're sure that everything's on track, you know, then we're going to go full bore, you know, and um, we have four kitchens. Um, and personally, I have an opinion. I, I'm... I'm pretty positive that we're not going to be able to, to fulfill the demand, you know, even with four kitchens. And I've expressed that, you know, to the to other people that are helping me run the, the company. And um, I believe, you know, that we should start building more kitchens before the business even starts, you know. And they're a little, you know, like, ah, I don't know, you know, that's that's a big risk. And I'm like, yeah, but as far as things have gone so far, everything. Every single product we came out with has been out of, we haven't been able to keep up with demand. Every fucking product, every fucking piece of clothing, every fucking product, you know, it's mind boggling. And, you know, it's, 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 it's hard because, you know, you go spend money on six kitchens and then what happens if you don't fulfill? What happens if you don't get those orders? 
then you have kitchens that you're paying money on and paying employees and they're just sitting there doing nothing. So it's very, it's a very difficult situation. So as of now, we have four kitchens and, um, you know, we're able to, to, to make a shitload of meals and, um, it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. So, and I got to decide, what what am I going to fucking do? I don't, Sarah's on the keto diet, so it's kind of cool when, you know, it's hard when two people living together are doing different diets, that's for sure. Right, babe, it's fucking, yep. I'm eating bread and you're eating fucking, you know, I'm eating a burger with bread and you're eating a burger with lettuce wrap. Yeah, I, I actually like it better, way better. But, we both eat ice cream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. So I noticed, I noticed on the keto diet that um, complex carbs affects it a lot worse than sugars. And how I came up with that is on the, on the South Beach diet, you're allowed to eat fruit. So it's basically, it's an Atkins or keto diet, but you can eat fruit. Well, when you think about it, I mean, your body reacts to sugar no matter what kind of sugar it is, whether it's sugar from candy, ice cream, or fruit. Or orange juice, whatever. So, if if you can do the South Beach diet and the sugar doesn't affect the diet, then you know there's no reason why you can't eat ice cream, you know, along with it and have the same effect. So, you know, when I was doing the keto diet, I would do that. I would eat ice cream every night as long as there wasn't complex carbs in it. So, in other words, um, there's certain Ben and Jerry's like Cinnabons, you know, cookies, uh, you know. Um, there's certain ones that have brownie, fudge brownie, you know, those have complex carbs. So I had to stay away from those. I just ate the ones that had no complex carbs, just sugar and fat. And those ones, I'm telling you, man, I'd stay fucking shredded and ripped and the ice cream had no effect on me. I'd eat candy, no effect. But, got to stay away from the complex carbs. Twix, you know, uh, any any candy that has, you know, um, you know, complex carbs, cookies in it or crackers or pretzels or anything like that. So, um, so really, the, the the keto diet or Atkins diet, whatever you want to call it, is is an awesome diet. You go with a lot of shit. It's easy to eat out, and you know. So maybe I might start off with the Atkins diet and get down to close to where I want to be, and then maybe slowly add a little bit of carbs in to fill out, um, you know, so I'm not so flat. So I might be flat on my journey, and then when I get to where I want to be, I might add some carbs into my diet so I can stay full. You know, and just kind of try to maintain that weight. So that might be what I'm going to do. But, you know, I'm still trying to figure shit out. And I know we're still doing bigger by the day. But my brain, you know, I want to fucking get down. You know, I'm ready. And I want to basically visually, you know, look, have a physique of a, of a men's physique competitor. But, you know, twice as much muscle mass, you know, but the same size waist. Um, that's, I mean, a lot of people say, well, that's classic bodybuilding and it, it's really not. Um, I really, I really see a difference. So, but uh, that's my goal is to have the most functional, perfect physique I could possibly have. And, you know, it's great being big and all the people out there that want to be huge and be monsters. And, um, you know, that's, that's where I wanted to be most of my life. Um, but the truth be told is, you know, uh, I want to be functional. I want to. You know, be able to carry around that muscle and not have it hold me back in any way possible. And, you know, uh, health benefits, it's better for me to be lighter. And for my knees, it's better for me to be lighter. And I'm guessing at 240, man, I'm going to be fucking hip-hopping around like a motherfucker. You know? Delivery time! God damn it! Ah! Hey, what could this be? What could this possibly be? That's a good question. I got another, another delivery. I'm excited. Right. I'm excited because I think it's possibly might not be food. It might be something really cool and fun. You're what do right. you think? What are the chances? Hmm. What are the chances that it's not food, babe? Oh, here we go again with this shit that won't open. God damn it. 25,000 things to take. Right. Oh. oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, right? Oh my god, this is just... What? Okay. Woo! 
Okay, we will cut that at that motherfucking part. <laughs> Ten minutes of me getting the goddamn box out of the box. <laughs> right. All right. At least there's not so much tape. Someone was watching this video, huh? Yeah. But uh, da, 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 da. food. Hmm. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I think I get like two of these a week. Uh -huh. Two fucking deliveries of food a week. But um, I can't complain because it's a bodybuilder's dream to have healthy food delivered at my doorstep. I don't have to cook. I don't have to shop. I don't have to do shit. All I do is fucking eat this shit. So this is your shit. Meatloaf and cauliflower mashed potatoes. Keto diet. Uh huh. Zero carbs. Yeah. Good ass shit. Oh yeah. And this is my shit. Pepper steak. Ooh. Pepper steak with rice. God damn it. That sounds good. Oh yeah. And another mashed potato. Meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And this is something different. Pepper steak with mixed vegetables. That's your shit with no rice. Oh, so yay. keto. Woohoo! It's all about the keto, right? I might be doing the keto pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking suck up to 240. You gonna not join the club? Yeah. I'm gonna join the. Ugh. All right, here we go. Next one. The next one. God damn it! Let's see if I can do a better job. Ah. so good, huh? Right. Oh, look at this. Oh, look ah. at that. Look at that. Ah. Hell yeah. Right. Chicken pot pie. Comfort food. <laughs> right. <laughs> With cauliflower and mashed potatoes. So they're not mashed potatoes. It's actually mashed potatoes made out of cau cauliflower. So people that cannot have carbs, this is the shit. It tastes just like mashed potatoes. You can put butter, pepper, sour cream, mash up, boil the cauliflower, mash that shit up. I don't do all that, but that's what they do. And the shit is out of control good. It's like you're eating fucking mashed potatoes yeah, and you're not. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And a lot of chicken right here. Chicken teriyaki with white rice. Ooh. That's a shitload of chicken. It's like too much chicken. I don't want that much chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and chicken alfredo with pasta. And I busted this open when I fucking opened the package. I hit it with a knife uh -oh. and cracked that shit. So yeah. getting a little crazy with the knife. So more pot pie, more chicken teriyaki, more alfredo. All right. So, um, so I'm good for like about four or five days. Right. Go do this food, eat nine meals a day. What's that, nine times four? So I'm eating 28 meals in four days. Yeah. That's fucking craziness. And you're eating, what are you eating, like four meals a day, babe? Yeah. So, but I don't really eat nine of these because we eat our, sh our shit at night. Mm -hmm. We eat our garbage at night before we go to bed. The best time to eat garbage, right before you go to bed. Right. The best time to eat ice cream, right before you go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, guys, you know that, that I like to enjoy life and have fun with life, so therefore, I eat a very awesome meal right before I go to bed while we watch TV together, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what we decide to do because we enjoy it. So that's our time together, at home, in bed, we fucking eat, we watch movies, and then we try to burn that shit off, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right, so that's why we try to eat so much shit before we go to bed, because that gives us the reason that we gotta fucking do so much shit to burn the calories off. Right. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it is shake time. God damn it. Egg whites, two, four, seven. Uh, there we go. That was exactly 10 egg whites. I don't know if you guys counted or not, but it was exactly 10. I'm 100% sure. I didn't have it down pat. <laughs> Real food. Is this shit back in stock or what, people? God damn it. Fucking running out. 20. 40. 
And I'm almost out. Jeez. 60. 60 grams of carbs. Today, I am going all out. All out. Cocoa Pebbles. Going all out. This. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so you guys know that when I bust open the Cocoa Pebbles, I gotta have the banana. They just go hand in hand. Cocoa Pebbles, banana, jeez, motherfucking Five pound watch, Jesus Christ! I can't even fucking lift shit up. <laughs> Love it. All right, I need a spoon for this peanut butter. Ooh! Oh, look at this. Oh, thanks to Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I go there, there are no. Forks or knives or spoons left. Yum. Yes. Peanut butter, chocolate, and banana. This shit doesn't even count, guys. This isn't even this doesn't even count. This doesn't even count as a meal. It's a motherfucking bonus snack. Yummy treat. Mm. Oh yeah. Is this thing not plugged in? What's going on? Oh, I forgot the creatine. Anyway. Can't forget the goddamn creatine. Shit. Alright, Blender, do not fuck with me. Oh! <laughs> oh, I guess you already made my pre workout for me, huh? Yep. Awesome. Food, egg whites, and ice cream. Yeah. That's a fridge of champions. Fruit, oh, yeah. egg whites, and motherfucking Ben and Jerry's. And one hog and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big ass shake. This is probably what? Well, I would say it's about. Close yeah. to a thousand calories? Probably. That I don't even count in my motherfucking. I don't even count calories. People always ask me that. Hey, Rich, how many calories are you today? How many macros are you eating? Yeah, I hate that fucking. Why? So when someone says macros, I want to just punch them in the mouth. Seriously. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. <sighs> okay, I'm ready to rock. Right. Ready to roll. Ready to get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. Are you ready, babe? I am so ready. Let's do it. We are on our way to the gym, goddammit. And fuck this traffic. Double yellow lines, fuck it. Fuck it, I don't know what that means, officer. I don't know what double yellow lines means. So I'm eating beef jerky all the way from FIBO, from Germany. I don't know, someone came by the booth and gave me like fucking 30 of these. <laughs> so I've been fucking macking on them. They're, they're pretty good, actually. Uh, sorry I can't rep the company because I already opened it and fucked it up. But I don't know. All I know is it's some kind of special beef jerky, you know, high protein, low fat, builds big muscles. It's special beef jerky that is anabolic and helps you build muscles. It's not like just normal beef jerky. It's like special beef jerky. But it's pretty good. Snack. Remember the snack. Doesn't count. It doesn't count in my total 
what is it? Caloric intake, babe? Yeah. How you say it? Calorie intake. No, the other one, the one we can't stand. Oh, uh, with macros. My macros. It doesn't count in my total macros. <laughs> <laughs> But it's good. It's smoked. It's smoked flavor, so it's fucking pretty good. I got two of them here. Oh, actually, maybe I can give a shout out. It's called Power Beef. I don't know. At least, at least they gave me these for free, babe. Yeah, right. At least I got some free shit, right? I give a shout out, they give me some free shit. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah. What about when you give like a shout out? You give tons of shout outs. Yeah. And you get you don't get jack shit. All right. <laughs> <Really important. laughs> okay, people, you guys saw my video, everyone talks shit about Prius. I'm in the motherfucking fast lane. There's no one on the freeway. I'm in the carpool lane, which is the lane is designed when you're in a fucking hurry and you want to drive faster than other people, you get in the carpool lane. Okay, this fucker is doing 58 miles an hour. <laughs> and guess what? It's a Prius. Fucking Prius. Motherfucker. Jesus Christ. It's always a fucking Prius. <laughs> so So I have Adam actually filming. Do you drive a Prius, Adam? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Adam is our film guy for 5% Nutrition. He's the real deal. So He's the best. He came down here to visit from Florida. So he's filming while he's here. He didn't come to film, he came to visit. And then he's just going to film because he's a cool guy. Right? Right. <laughs> This is purely, we came here purely to visit, a friendly visit, to have a good time. It's nothing, not about money. It's about just coming to visit, Say what's up to Rich Piana. Yeah. Mm. And me, come David. And Sarah, of course. Come from Sarah. So we're heading to the gym. Probably going to train some back and biceps. Yep. So Sarah can work out and not have to fucking film my ass. So I am on my vacation. Yes. You can actually sit back and enjoy the gym for once. Since you met me, huh? I met you and I put your ass to work. Right. Hey, what's up? What's your name? You're really hot. Here, let me see how you work this camera. <laughs> oh, you're pretty good. So what are you doing tonight? You want to go out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not too good with the camera. Anyway, nice to meet you. Take care of yourself. <laughs> I went through like 10 of those before I met you, babe. Yeah. Here, let me see you shoot this camera. Uh, yeah. Nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got great tits and a great ass, but you got to know how to work a fucking camera. <laughs> That's the top part of you. There's a lot of nice tits and ass around, but there's not too many tits and ass that know how to operate a camera. That's the hard part. All right. So, uh, I guess I'll pass the test, huh? Well, pass with flying colors. Stuff. Yep. When I was on a dating website, that's what I put. <laughs> Looking for tits, ass, and camera abilities. Right. <laughs> Period. snack too, but right. probably not going to mention what I'm going to have. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have another beef jerky though, that's for goddamn sure. This shit's good as fuck. Yeah, 
and it's a healthy snack on top of it. This is a, at least it's a healthy snack. It's got like hardly any fat, all protein, and not like any carbs. So it's a, it's, it's a healthy snack. Unlike other snacks that aren't healthy. So you only have two left, or not be like from uh, all beef jerkies? I don't know. I've, these I, I just found these in my dresser drawer. So I think they're like, I just have them all over the place. <laughs> so why do you think the crowd is going to die with you? Yeah, it's going to be busy as fuck. You don't gotta worry about filming. You just work out. That's it. Right? Yeah. I feel like we just did back. Didn't we just do back a couple days ago? What? Didn't we just train back a couple days ago? Yeah, we did. The back's still a little sore, actually. Yeah, mine too. Fuck it. I didn't, I didn't tell him I fucked my chest up last time I trained chess. Oh, yeah. I, um, you know, the new, my new training regimen is going to be to do with the contest that I'm going to be putting on. And it's benching your body weight, you know, for as many reps as possible, squatting your body weight for as many reps as possible, and doing dips for as many reps as possible, and pull ups. So I decided to, you know, fuck around on the bench press. And as everyone knows, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a real big bench press fan. And I haven't really been in the last in that much. fucking 15 years. Um, so I decided to, you know, see how many reps I can get. Oh, and guess what? I didn't get that many because I fucking fucked my chest up. On, I think I was on like number eight or nine. I don't even know. Usually when you, you know, when something... You know, micro tear or something usually happens right away, like in you know the first couple reps. I don't know how I could do eight or nine reps and then have something happen. It's kind of odd. Yeah, it's weird. But I was going pretty good, and you know, I mean, the thing is, when you're going for reps, you're not, you know, it's not. I'm not training my normal style, like bodybuilder style, where I'm concentrating, squeezing, flexing, contracting, slow, trying to feel the burn. You know, when you train like that, it's very hard to injure yourself because it's so strict and controlled. And um, you know, and you're not be able, you're not able to go as heavy as you know as you could as if you just were fucking repping. So when I'm trying to get as many reps as I can, I'm just fucking you know repping the weight, and I'm not worried about form. So that's probably what it was. Is I'm so used to training, you know, with perfect form and whatever that when I loosen up my form and basically cheat a little bit, you know, that's probably what happened. Is that's why I fucking injured myself. So. I did like I slightly tore the insertion where the the chest inserts into the front delt, and I've I've injured that area probably 20 times in my career, or I don't know about career, but <laughs> in my uh, lifetime of working out, and so it's something I've done numerous times. Basically, you know, I sit anti-inflammatories and let it rest, recuperate before you train it again. It usually takes. I would say a good three to four weeks, you know, before you can start slowly easing back into training, you know, light and, you know, just being careful. Because if you have a slight tear and you go and you start training too soon, you can fucking completely tear it. And that is my worst motherfucking nightmare is to tear a fucking muscle. So it kind of sucks. So I can't train chest. Long story short, I can't train chest. So I'm fucked. So that happened about a week ago. Uh, and so I trained what well, we trained shoulders and tries yesterday. Yeah. Trained legs the day before that. Mm -hmm. And then back the day before that. Now we're back on back. Yeah. So and my knee is actually feeling my knees are feeling better from training. I've been, you know, I've been training legs somewhat on a regular basis. And my knees are actually feeling the best I felt. So 
I think as my legs are getting stronger, my knees are getting better. So that's a good sign. That's awesome. Yeah, so, you know, and if I'm gonna train as if I was gonna compete in this contest, you know, I need to squat my body weight for reps. You know, and that's, that's fucking, it's not easy. You know, and that's, hate to admit it, but my body weight is, is somewhat of a heavy squat for me. So I need to get my fucking body weight down. Not yet though, I'm staying, I'm hanging in there for another three or four weeks. And yes, I'm getting off my cycle, guys. I'm about to, about to get off any day now. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But um, yeah, I just realized that it's time. The time has come. The time we all dread. Getting off the steroid cycle. So look at this shit. Look at they put. The, look how far the cones are, babe. They put the cones oh. like fucking Those. five feet away from the curb. Those motherfuckers. Like that's gonna keep me from not parking yeah, here. Right. Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna park right here and right. block the whole fucking street. Yeah. Fuck them. Wait, wait, ain't getting rid of that easy. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> look how much room people have to go by. You know, like like nothing. Hey man, it's not my fault. I didn't put the cones there. Right. I'm just parking where I always park. Yeah. Whoever put the cones there is the one to blame. Yeah, it's an idiot. Trying to be a smart, smart ass. <laughs> they'll, they'll slowly move the cones, you know, right. further and further, but they won't say nothing to me. Soon they're going to be on the street. I'm the street. But I mean, they won't say, hey, Rich, can you do us a favor and not park there anymore? Well, you know? they, they talked to me once. Oh, yeah, what did they say? When I stood by the car. You know? What did they say? They're like, you can't park here. I was like, who said that? Some some security guy. Oh, well, fuck the security and, guy. And I was like, I, I'm not driving. I didn't drive the car. Huh, go talk to that guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I didn't drive. They're like, uh, you know, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't driving. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, like, they don't, no one says nothing, they just keep moving the cones off. It's like, you right. know, say some shit to me, just say, Rich, hey, and I'll be like, okay, cool, no problem, right? Nah, you're gonna be like, uh, <laughs> 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 no. ain't gonna happen, right? All right, it's our spot. Ready to train? Yep. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, guys, today it's fucking legs, god damn it. Big leg workout. My favorite fucking thing to train. Yeah, right. <laughs> but we got to do it, so let's fucking do it. So today I'm sticking to high reps, moderate weight, and I'm starting with the hamstring machine that's very flat. We have two hamstring machines at this gym. One is flat and one is more incline. And the incline is kind of like a preacher bench. So it works more the lower portion of the hamstring. This is the more flat seated lying leg curl, and this one works more up high where the glutes tie into the hamstring. So here I'm doing five sets of 30. So five sets of 30, squeeze it on top, and that's supersetted with leg extensions. The leg extensions, I'm going really light, 40 pounds, go up, squeeze at the top. I imagine I'm on stage flexing those quads, trying to bring in those striations, deep separation, and making them fucking burn. So it's all in the squeeze. Here I'm doing 40 reps. So five sets of 40 reps, supersetted with the line leg curl. After the leg extensions, I'm off to the other line leg curl, which is the one I talked about that's more inclined, more like a preacher, and it really hits the lower part of the hamstring. I can honestly feel a difference. So here I'm doing a little bit lighter weight, higher reps, 40 reps, and just repping it out, squeezing it on top, and making those hamstrings cramp and burn. So after I finish there, those are going to be supersetted with leg press. So off to the leg press, no rest in between supersets, and on the leg press, I'm doing moderate weight for 30 reps. So 30 reps, non-stop, no stopping at the top. Just repping it through, making them burn, pushing with the heels, keeping that pain out of the knee, and just repping it straight on through and making them burn. And this is a great exercise for me. I feel no pain in the knee. And again, um, I'm stuck doing this exercise because it's the only pressing movement I can go somewhat decent weight. And after the leg press, it's off to seated hamstring curls and these I'm keeping the reps high again 30 reps coming down squeezing at the bottom full stretch on top 
and making them burn. And when I'm training hamstrings, I like to think of the hamstrings like the bicep. I curl my legs and I flex that bicep hard. And the hamstring muscle is very similar to the bicep and you can flex it just like the bicep. So those are supersetted with reverse hack squats, something I haven't done in years. And these are a great exercise. It really hits the glutes, really hits the adductors, and even hits a little bit of hamstring, upper hamstring. So um, these, I'm keeping the reps high. I'm doing five sets of 20. And then it's straight to squats with no rest. And the squats, the same thing, 20 reps. So 20 and 20. And I'm telling you, your legs will be fucking on fire. So um, I don't believe I got 20 reps on every set. I think I descended um, as my sets went on. I did five sets of these. And the last set, I might have been somewhere in the neighborhood of 12. So um, just making it clear on that one that um, I definitely was fucking exhausted. Legs were on fire. So after that, pretty much done. My legs are toast. And it's off to stretching. And stretching is something I do pretty much every workout. I just haven't been talking about it or shown it on video. But I'm a big believer in stretching. And here I'm stretching my hamstrings, my glutes, a little bit of calves. And here is quads. And as I come down really deep, I'm really stretching those adductors. And, you know, staying limber, flexible, and keeping that function of the body. It's very important. You know, balance. I work on a lot of balancing things, you know, and want to try to keep my athleticism and not let that muscle hinder me in any way, shape, or form. And obviously, it's going to somewhat hinder us, but we want to do our best to stay as athletic and functional as possible. So really try to stretch every workout. Very important, guys. So anyway, that's it for day, and I had a great fucking workout. God damn, this shit's thick as fuck. <laughs> I can't even shake this shit. Because it's Cocoa Pebbles, banana, peanut butter, real food, creatine, egg whites. Jeez. What is it in it, right? Fuck. Yum. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's fucking good. Fuck. That's the shit right there. I can't imagine. Oh, man. So we're heading to the 101. Fuck, I haven't been on the 101 in I don't know how long. 101 sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's almost so much traffic. Woodland Hills. Yeah. We're heading to Woodland Hills. Just got done working out, training legs. Fucking killed legs. By myself. You were there for support. Well, you did a little bit, huh? Yeah. You did a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> She's working her ass while I'm doing quads because she doesn't want her legs to get any bigger, but she wants her ass to get bigger. So she hits ass while I hit quads and then we hit hams together. So that's how we do it. Yeah. <laughs> so in the end, maybe I'll have big quads like I used to one day many years ago. And she'll have a huge, gigantic ass. That's the plan. <laughs> ass can never be too big. That's true. Right? Ass and tits never too big. People tell me my arms are too big for the rest of my body, so maybe someday someone will be telling you your ass is too big for the rest of your body. Then you know you've met your goal. <laughs> right. Yeah. <clears throat> and the people that know what's up know there's no such thing as an ass too big. True. Or arms too big. That's true. Oh, motherfucking such thing. Uh-huh. Right? That's so true. Oh. Uh, so true. That's why I've been hitting, working out the booty, like, what, four times a week or something? Something like that. Yeah. All kind of different stuff. Ass can never be big enough. Nope. Except for jealous bitches that have no ass. <laughs> oh, God, look how big her ass is. Oh, why would anyone want an ass that big? Ah. Right. <laughs> just, just like with the boobs. 
are just like skinny motherfuckers. Oh, man, why would anyone want to be that big? And then they're in the gym fucking working out every day, fucking right. taking everything under the sun. <laughs> I know, right? People are always hating. Hypocrites. I know, right? And the, and the funniest thing is how so many people are like, oh, my God, she's way too big boobs. Boobs, boobs, boobs. Well, I think it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. And... And they're like, oh my god, they look so fake. Duh. I got fake boobs too. Duh. They're they, supposed to look fake. They're yeah. supposed to be fake. We love fake tits. Yeah, they... Who wants real saggy, floppy, flapjack motherfucking yeah. tits down to your belly button. They, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They're supposed to be like balls. Fake as fuck. Big, firm motherfuckers to grab onto. Yep. <laughs> but people are like, oh my god, like, oh jeez. Nope, they're supposed to be like that. Yeah. God damn it. I had a client, and he's like, Rich, why Why would you get your teeth so white? Why would you want your teeth so white? Like, why? It, it doesn't look natural. Why would you? And he's talking <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. And then, like, three months later, he's like, hey, can I get your dentist's phone number from you? I'm like, why? He's like, oh, because. I like what he did with your teeth. I want to go see him for a consult. I'm like, oh, you geez. hypocrite motherfucker. Three months ago, you were talking shit. Yeah. You were talking shit because he was jealous. White motherfucking teeth. Uh, right. Yeah. Why, why would you want your teeth to look natural? Right. I don't know why, why you'd want anything to look natural. Natural is average. Right. Average then sucks. Like, yeah, then you're average like, in anything else. sucks. Yeah. Being an average person sucks. sucks. Yeah. Why would you want anything to be average? Fuck be an average. average person, have an average car, live an average life. Yeah. You know, make an average amount of money. That sucks. Like, average is shit. Yeah. You're that's... supposed to, everything, everything you do should be to be above average. And that's yeah. like, that's what we learn in school, right? Yeah. Exactly. A B is above average. Yeah. C is average. B is above average and A is excellent. That's exactly what it means. And in school, we were taught to get A's. So we weren't taught to get C's. We didn't go to school and the teacher said, okay, everyone, we want everyone to get a C in the class so everyone could be average. We want everyone to be average. No, <laughs> we were taught as kids to get A's, get straight A's and be excellent, be above average. Yeah. So hopefully as an adult, you carry that on into your adult life oh. and oh. my fucking camera fucks up right in the middle of a good fucking speech. Yeah. Is that what happened? Hold on. Mother yeah. Fuck me. We rolling? Yeah. Okay, I'm Yes, we God damn are. It. I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. I had a good something good going. Yeah, you're talking about uh, about uh, not being average. fucking average. Yeah. So I hope in our adult life that we carry on what we learned as kids to not be fucking average, to shoot beyond average, above average, be much better than average. Yeah. So therefore, be the best you can be in every way possible. That's the way I see it. Yeah. And that's what I've continued to do, to be the best I can be in every motherfucking way possible. Every way possible. Exactly. And the people that talk shit are the people that are just fucking plain jealous of that shit. Yeah. Why else would you talk shit? How yeah. can you talk shit about anyone wanting to be the best they can be in every way possible? Exactly. 